I'm a member of the working group of experts on people of African descent. Um, I represent the uh, Africa region within the United Nations. And um, the United Nations um, uh, special procedure has got thematic areas. And one of those thematic areas um, actually includes the uh, focus on people of African descent. Um, and I've been here to teach uh, on people of African descent and, uh, and human rights, um, looking at the history of enslavement and the transatlantic uh, trade uh, in enslaved Africans um, to better understand why today we have uh, people of African descent being subjected to racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, Afrophobia and related intolerance. Um, so it was very good for me to interact with the students um, here in Argentina uh, who are doing a master's in uh, international human rights. Uh, one of the uh, highlights uh, for my talk was actually uh, to see the appreciation of uh, students um, in understanding the, the historical backdrop of uh, why we have uh, racism against people of African descent. So the interaction was quite good. Um, and I also enjoyed the fact that the students were, were very participating uh, in the topic, um, which actually uh, also gave me an opportunity to speak about the uh, work of the working group um, of experts on people of African descent. And I must say that within the uh, working group, uh, we undertake uh, country missions uh, to various uh, states uh, that invite us to um, assess uh, the situations of people of African descent in those countries. And we make recommendations on how these countries could uh, better the lives of people of African descent. Um, the other activity that we undertake as the working group is also to uh, have um, a thematic sessions uh, in Geneva. Uh, and this particular year, we are going to be looking at the issue of environmental justice, uh, focusing on people of African descent. And as you know, uh, climate change has also affected people of African descent um, in a way that uh, is actually worse than the other populations. So we are going to be unpacking uh, this particular issue. As the uh, member of the working group, it is also important for me to talk about the Deben Declaration and Program of Action, which actually um, is an outcome a, a document uh, from the World Conference uh, that took place in 2001 in Deben, uh, South Africa. Uh, I also promote um, the International Decade for People of African Descent, which actually started in 2015 and will be ending in 2024. Um, this decade is very important for advancing the lives of people of African descent um, in all the parts of the world. And uh, it is important to also uh, appreciate that the decade is focusing on uh, three thematic areas, uh, basically being recognition, justice and development. And I also shared with the students that um, and also to um, challenge them to promote the decade um, um, for people of African descent wherever uh, they have uh, influence. So um, it was very interesting to interact with the students and also to get feedback from them on, um, on how they view uh, the working group of experts on people of African descent, but also uh, to learn other areas that we could actually tackle um, as the working group, particularly uh, the area of uh, focusing on, on the issue of gender and uh, multi-sectional um, um, variations of uh, discrimination which is actually uh, impacting on people of African descent in various parts of the of the world. So uh, with that I'm really appreciative of also being given the opportunity to share uh, my experience uh, with the working uh, at the working group um, of experts on people of African descent but also to get a feel um, of what students in their own respective countries um, are actually experiencing uh, when it comes to the treatment of people of African descent. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.